night, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be playing reindeer games with our reindeer vase here and it's a lot of fun and really puts us in that winter feel. So we're going to start with a reindeer glitter ornament and I picked these up at the dollar stores or Dollar Tree and they're just glitter reindeer. If you can't find one, you could cut one out of cardboard and put the glitter on it to make it as well. I know that's a little bit more time where this you're just ready to go. And we're just going to come in and we're just going to start decorating him with metallic crayon. And if you've never seen the process, this is Crayola Crayon and I'm using the metallic silver and you can find a wonderful video on my website at MiriamJoy123, it's the beginning video and it gives you the basics of the Crayola Crayon and how to do the process because there is a few things that you need to know like how to warm your tool. But let's get started on this guy. We're just coming in and we're just kind of following the pattern and I'm just doing strokes and dots. And there is no right or wrong. Take your crayon tool when you load into your crayon around your, your design, not over the top of it. So if you drip, you won't drip on your project. The metallic has a way of dripping just a little bit more than the others. And where we have holes, we're just going to add some dots to kind of fill everything in. And a descending dot is when you're doing more than one dot with a load. It's going bigger to smaller. And like I said, there is no right or wrong. We're just trying to make it look festive here. I'm going to do his ear. And we're not going to put a lot of detail on his face. We're just going to keep that a little bit simple. And then we'll start to go down the neck. And if you have your project and hold it where you can pull the stroke toward you, it is easier. And I am using my number two tool, the larger tool, the small end. And I'll just kind of make some different designs here. Put your dots on your tails, it kind of cleans up the tails. The glitter works really, really well with the crayon. It holds it or adheres to it really well. And swirls are really popular and this is a great thing to do with swirls and I am just making it up as I go like I said there is no right or wrong just trying to give you ideas in case you need help but also know that you can do whatever you would like to do on it some designs within him. The metallic kind of gives it that wintry feeling. It is a silver metallic and you can find them in I think the silver starts in the 24 pack. I'm going to low back up my crayon because it's starting to get too low you do your strokes start to get smaller so we want to make sure that we have that loaded and 
you could put some like snowflake designs in here. Just do some swirls, whatever you kind of think he needs here. And that one, I just it just failed, so I just made it into a stroke. Since we're not really worrying about a perfect design, that's okay. You can do that. Just kind of bring it in. We're going to do his tail here. Let's get his tail in. I'll do this little circle. These work really, really good in your Christmas trees as well. My Christmas tree is snowflakes and the blue colors and everything. So this would really work well in my Christmas tree because it takes up a lot of room and helps fill in and give your tree color. So it's a lot of fun to do for that as well. Alright, so we've kind of got his body done. And if you have a place where there isn't as much Crayola, just do your wax over the top of it. Come back in and add some dots in the areas I think it needs some dots. On his legs, I'm going to start out by kind of forming his feet here. Come up the... Kind of do that on both sides. some dots and then we're just going to follow the rest of it down Finishing up our last oven. The only thing I would not do is I would not put it in his face, like I said earlier. I think it takes away from his face, and you want it recognizable as his face. Okay, and you can see I just did this randomly. I did not worry about where anything went or anything like that and go in and fill in dots wherever you need a little bit more if you don't know quite what to do you can also just do a swirl it's just a circle around but dots are great because they can fill in so much more so just add them here and there wherever you think there's a little bit of a hole okay so we've got him all done. I take him out this time and I spray varnish him. And what I did on him, because I even wanted more of a glitter look, and after I spray varnished him, while he was still wet, I took my white glitter and I put some more glitter, just kind of sprinkled it on him and kind of used that as a glue to even add a little bit more sparkle to him. So then we're going to put the ribbon around his neck. And I have a real pretty just piece of snowflake ribbon that I like. And we're not going to tie it around his neck because it doesn't look as well tied as if we just wire it and then glue it on. So I just pull that over just like that. You want the little ribbons. I'm going to cut a little piece of wire here. Don't need too much, just enough. And I always poke that wire right through the middle of my fingers. That way I know I'm in the middle, especially if I'm working with a bow. And there is a video to show you how to tie bows if you need help with that as well. But this is just a real simple bow there. And you don't need a lot of ribbon for this project. It's just basically the ribbon, the uh, deer in the glass vase is all you really need for that. Now we want to make sure that his, we don't put this too high, that his face doesn't show. So we want to lower that below his face. And I'm going to put on some glue here. It's my hot glue gun. I have it on a low setting. 
When you're working with a hot glue gun, you have to be careful because you can melt your crayon. You want to keep it on the low setting, and if you're working on the back, don't touch anything on the front because it can melt that. Make sure you varnished it first. It does change the melting point of the crayon. So we have our deer all nice and pretty there. So we're going to go over to our vase. Now this is just a vase that I picked up from the dollar store or dollar tree and I'm just going to put a ribbon around it and I want to keep it real tight there so we only want a little bit of that showing. We don't want a whole bunch of that coming through and I'm going to even take a little bit more off. So we are just barely using any ribbon on this project and my ribbon I did pick up at the Dollar Tree as well. They do have a lot of fun festive ribbons. Okay, now we're just going to glue this guy here. And I'm just going to put him over the top and make sure he matches up on the sides. Now we want to move this to where it hits the deer right at the body and if you do that right then it doesn't show. We're going to do we're going to glue this in a couple of ways here. I'm going to put some um, hot glue on it to glue it immediately and then we're also going to put some E6000 to do it over time. Now I want to make sure I have my deer a little bit more in the middle so I'm going to put and the E6000 just kind of ensures that over time. And like I said, the um, hot glue is for the time period first. And you pretty should put the E6000 on first and then the hot glue because it doesn't dry as fast, obviously. And put this right on the crease there so that that does not show up. And you want your deer to stand right there and then you have this wonderful winter vase. Now a couple of decorating ideas that I did with this vase is you can fill it up with Christmas bulbs, blue or silver Christmas bulbs and it would be really really pretty and I put some bulbs in the bottom of this and I put some uh, kind of wintry feeling um, floral arrangement in it. But another thing you could do is you could take a glass plate that you have and put it on top and put a flameless candle up here as well. So there's a bunch of different things you can do with this after you made this. And I just want you to take what I've given you and turn it into something else. Make it your own. Own it. That's what I'm always telling you guys to do is just really take what I've done and leap forward with it and create your own thing. Don't get stuck in just my ideas. If you have any questions about this product, please email me at art at miriamjoy.com. For any of the wax products that we use today, please visit my website at miriamjoy.com. You'll find the YouTube link there as well as a Facebook link and you can jump on over to Facebook where you try to put something up to encourage you every day. During the holidays, we like to have fun contests for you as well. Thank you for joining me today. Have a Merry Christmas and God bless.